Okay, we're going to try something a little bit different. I'm going to take you through stage six, the last stage of the Grampian Rally, a stage that I made a big mistake on. However, luck was on our side and we managed to get away with it and maintain our podium position. But right now, we're lying in second place with everything still to play for. 13 seconds off the lead, four seconds in front of third place. And because of that, Max and I made a bold tyre decision. We decided that we're going to put the more used tyres on the rear of the car and the slightly grippier tyres on the front of the car hoping to give me a bit more confidence, a bit more traction on the braking, a bit better turning in, but it would mean that on the high-speed corners, the high-speed fast corners, that the rear of the car would slide around a little bit more than we would expect, just about here, or a little bit more than we would like, not more than we would expect, we were expecting it to do that, but it was something that I was going to have to manage. So, as we're heading into the beginning of the stage right now, it's, it's quite grippy here, quite open, not too much dust, so I can see the road quite clearly. Trying to move the car around a lot, you can see my hands are quite busy, just to see how it's going to react and what it's going to do. Um, and I knew coming down in a minute, we're going to have some tighter corners, and that was going to be when I would see what the rear was going to do as I loaded and put the weight onto the side of the car. So coming up to this left-hander here, this is the first time the car really had the chance to break away from me. And it was apparent from then that it was going to be a little bit wild, but no point in complaining about it now. We're well and truly into the stage, and we have no choice of changing anything. So... Up to this point, we're still using a part of the stage that we'd already used earlier in the morning on stage three. In a second, we're going to split right rather than go left like we did earlier in the day. And how about you listening to Max now and hear what he's saying as we try and go over a new piece of road as fast as we can. Left ish, 60, late four right plus over crest A. Early, four left plus, into late five right stay. 40, turn square left in. 60, flat to right, 60, 5 left plus over brown, neat, and right over 80, tightens 4, tightens don't, into fast, 5 left plus, up, carry, into flat to right, 80, flat crest, into flat left at 3. Now those couple corners were giving me a lot of confidence because there was a lot of grip. But as you can see, there's a bit of grass developing in the middle of the road. And just after this right-hander, it's going to get a little bit more slippy. And as we come around this corner, you see immediately there's a rock in the middle of the road. I tried to avoid it with the front of the car, but I hit it with the right rear tyre. So this next left-hander, I took a little bit slower just to see if we had a puncture. But all was OK. Now we're coming down to the first braking zone under the trees in the slippier section. I braked quite early and went all the way down to second gear just there. A little bit too cautious as I went back up to third and then back down to second. But... Better to have that attitude than going too fast. However, it is quite ironic that I make that comment because as you're about to see, um, I only used that at motto at the beginning and then slowly forgot about what that meant. Unseen, late five left down. One thirty. Left, tightens unseen, six plus in. Opens, tightens, flat four. No, no, no. Go on, go on. Hold on. Tightens. 100. Four left plus opens half long. Use your head. 150. Now, a huge amount has just gone on there. But the most prominent, the most important thing is after my mistake, Max was extremely calm. Straight back on that starter button. I barely had a chance to look down. And he immediately reassured me, stay calm, stay focused. Um, now my head is quite busy at the moment. I then politely asked Max just to check the data down below. Okay, not as polite as I remembered, but anyway. Now for me, I am moving around, braking a little bit early, braking hard, just to see if anything is going to move on the car. If anything is broken, I want more distance, more ability to slow the car down, to, to change the direction of the car, just in case. It's done a few corners, two braking zones just now so everything is looking okay but you never know what could be developing what could be getting worse um through my experience especially with four-wheel drive cars i still don't know quite a few things so i'm trying to understand if something is different if anything has changed or if it is all the same coming up to this left-hander here throwing the car in quite aggressively um but it all seems to be okay and now there's quite a rough section here and as you're going to hear i take it quite easy i take this next hairpin really gently just to put a little bit less pressure on the drive shafts just to be careful with it and then you hear i'm noticing things that really i shouldn't even be noticing nothing's actually changed but i can hear the turbo it's okay i guess mentally you're thinking about different things that have appeared and trying to 
not to do the, the big mistake, which is once you do a small mistake, you then try and gain the time back and then it turns into a bigger accident down the road. So focusing as much as I can, getting back on the notes and trying to not make that second mistake. Right Titans deceptive four over crash. 115. Left dish over crest. Break 60. Three left in. Good ish. Into flat row. As you can see, quite early on the breaks. Again down here, not trusting the notes. The flat left um, at the end. So the flat right, flat left. Um, it, it didn't really work. But part and parcel of this is finishing that stage, writing off the losses, cutting the losses and just focusing on getting through it. So that was what I needed to do. And right through here, there's a couple don't cuts, a couple rocks in the inside to be careful of. So I was just trying to be wary, stay on the line, be in the middle of the road, not make too many mistakes and just try and focus on getting to the wider section, to the section that I'd already done earlier in the morning, which is about to come up. And then I knew that I knew what the road was going to do. I knew what the conditions were like and nothing was going to be unusual or new for me. And two left long stay. Late five right long up. And flat crest 100. Sadly got that line completely wrong. But now coming up here, I asked Max one more time just to check. Are you sure it's not a radiator? Good, mate, you're good. Slot, late, hairpin right back, carry. And Max, absolutely brilliant there, focusing on reassuring me and just getting the notes delivered, not doing anything else. Oh, fantastic, really. And then coming down here, I get the line a little bit wrong. I ended up bouncing out into the left side, but it was all OK. And then coming down the hill, keeping it flat, not lifting, not letting that affect me and just trying to focus on getting through the next couple corners. Opens Max. 60 up, flat left over crest stay. And then from now on, it really should be flat all the way down to the bottom. But again, the rear of the car stepped out a little bit here. And I just wanted a break because, again, a bit cautious. Losing quite a bit of time, scrubbing the momentum. But I wanted to finish the rally. I wanted to get it done. I wanted to get it right. Second place was, in my head, potentially lost. And really, we just needed a strong finish. We needed a finish and we were still on the podium. So just focusing on getting through was the priority. Bridge curb. Titans turn square. Now, that last difficult corner there over the bridge, that's the most dangerous one for me, just in case the rear of the car steps out. Now, it really is just flat to the finish, keeping my foot absolutely pinned to the floor, no questions asked, all the way until there's a little left-hander over the finish line. Listening to Max's notes, making sure I get the right, really right here, um, over this crest. Just making sure the line is all correct um, and everything was okay there. And coming down here, a little bit of a squeeze, quite a big squeeze actually, but we're carrying so much speed before the left hander over the finish. And then ultimately apologising to Max for my mistake. So that is a review of the last stage of the rally. Like, subscribe, comment, and we'll do plenty more of those.